Okay, so this is gonna be a really quick DIY tutorial of painting old rusty shabby looking wrought iron and I did this to my rental property but a lot of properties have wrought iron gates or window bars and this is a really quick, easy and inexpensive way to make your property have a lot more curb appeal and look a lot cleaner and just brighter and less dull and worn down. Okay, for this project you're gonna need a sander. I have a steel grip electric sander you don't necessarily need an electric sander, it definitely makes it a lot easier. Um, I have a sanding block for the areas that I can't get into with my sander. The sander has a little um, attachment that punches holes in the sandpaper, that way the sander will suck any um, dust for that it's sanding, any paint fragments into the bag that you can dispose of. Painters tape so you can and drop cloth so you can mask off the area. In my case I don't want to get paint all over the stucco. I have 120 grit sandpaper, which is like a medium grit sandpaper, enough to rough it up, not enough to take it all the way down to metal. Mineral spirits to wipe the wrought iron down and get it nice and clean with a rag prior to painting. And then we have uh, white paint, which it has paint and primer, so that way you don't have to do primer and then let it dry. You can just do it all in one spray. And those are the materials that you will need to do a DIY wrought iron painting. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to do is sand down the metal. And to do that, you can use a medium grit sandpaper. I used a 120 grit sandpaper. The reason for this is because you don't need to sand it all the way down to bare metal. All you need to do is scuff up the existing paint, kind of knock the shine off of it, and the new paint will stick fine. So I used an electric sander for the surfaces of all the wrought iron. And then for the uh, crevices and tight spots that I couldn't get with the electric sander, I just used a sanding block with the uh, sandpaper wrapped around it. And all you gotta do is scuff it up and then you're ready to go on to the next step, which is wiping everything down with mineral spirits. That way you can get all the paint, sanded paint fragments um, off of the surface and you get a nice clean area to start painting. Okay, now I did my best to mask this off. It is not pretty. But what you wanna do is you wanna take the mineral spirits and wipe down everything you just sanded to get all the excess leftover paint that you were sanding off and get your surface nice and clean for when you go to paint. The next thing to do is tape everything off with painter's tape and plastic or drop cloth or whatever you have to keep your um, area that you're not trying to get full of paint protected. For me it was stucco and windows, I was trying to keep stucco and windows protected that way they didn't get all full of paint. Okay so the final step now is to paint the wrought iron. You want to use at least two coats. Uh, one coat doesn't quite cover everything, two coats is perfect, three coats might be a little overkill of a two-in-one paint and primer that's rust inhibiting. So the one I use and the one a lot of people use for wrought iron is the Rust-Oleum paint and primer. And that's how we were able to turn this ugly 50s turquoise that was rusty and really dull into a nice semi-gloss rust inhibiting wrought iron that should hopefully hold up for many, many years to come. Up the curb appeal, make everything look really nice. All in all, it's a very inexpensive DIY project. The electric sander you can get on Amazon for like $35. You can get a sanding block for 2 to $4. The paint is what adds up and everything else is pretty inexpensive. Okay, so overall it's a super simple, super quick DIY project that's pretty inexpensive and it makes a world of difference for your curb appeal and making everything look nice and clean. So I hope that video was helpful. If it was, please subscribe, like, making a bunch of videos about renovating and rental properties and investing. And so if you have any suggestions, please put a comment down below, like and share this video. Thank you.